Ah, coffee. That beloved beverage that kickstarts our mornings and fuels our afternoons. But have you ever wondered about the journey of this magical elixir? Well, let's take a caffeinated journey through its history. Our story begins in the lush highlands of Ethiopia, where legend has it that a goat herder named Kaldi noticed his goats frolicking with unusual vigor after nibbling on some bright red berries. Intrigued, he tried the berries himself and experienced a newfound vitality. Word of these magical berries spread and thus began the journey of coffee. By the way, botanists have identified the coffee arabica plant, the species responsible for the beloved coffee beans, as indigenous to the Ethiopian region of Kaffa. This plant is believed to have been cultivated and consumed by Ethiopians for centuries before its discovery by the rest of the world. Scientific evidence suggests that coffee arabica originated in Ethiopia. Ethiopian coffee populations have the highest genetic diversity and are the center of origin for Arabica coffee. Archaeological findings confirm that coffee originated in Ethiopia. Pottery fragments that date back to the 9th century have been found in the area containing traces of coffee compounds. This provides concrete proof that coffee had been consumed in Ethiopia long before it gained global recognition. It is estimated that cultivation of coffee arabica started in southwestern Ethiopia about 1,500 years ago. So, while the story of Kaldi and his goats adds a charming folklore element to the origin of coffee, scientific evidence corroborates Ethiopia as the birthplace of this beloved beverage. From Ethiopia, coffee cultivation spread to the Arabian Peninsula, where it became an integral part of Islamic culture. By the 15th century, coffee houses known as Kivahan began popping up in Constantinople, fostering lively intellectual discussions and social gatherings. Coffee became a traded commodity due to its popularity in the Arab and Turkish world. During the 16th century, Ottoman traders began exporting coffee to various parts of the world, including Europe. Over time, coffee has become increasingly beloved for its enticing scent and invigorating qualities winning over people from all walks of life. However, there were some authorities who were concerned about its potential impact on society. Some European religious leaders expressed skepticism about the effects of coffee and its association with Muslim culture. There were concerns that coffee houses fostered immoral behavior, political subversion, and intellectual radicalism. As a result, there were occasional calls for the suppression or regulation of coffee houses. In fact, coffee was once dubbed the bitter invention of Satan by some detractors. However, its allure proved too strong to resist, and coffee houses flourished across Europe, becoming hubs of culture and commerce. In fact, there were instances where individual popes expressed reservations about the beverage. Pope Clement VIII, for example, reportedly tasted coffee and initially considered condemning it. However, after experiencing its effects, he approved, stating that coffee should be baptized to make it a Christian beverage. Still, some municipal authorities imposed taxes on coffee or attempted to limit the hours of operation for coffee houses. The introduction of coffee to Europe is often attributed to Venetian merchants. According to historical accounts, Venetian traders encountered coffee during their trade missions to the Middle East and brought it back to Venice. The first recorded shipment of coffee to Europe arrived in Venice in the early 16th century. By the 17th century, coffee had firmly established itself as a global phenomenon, with European powers vying for control over its production and trade. Coffee plants were introduced to colonies in the Americas, Africa, and Asia, leading to the establishment of large-scale coffee plantations and the emergence of coffee as a major cash crop. But it wasn't just about the beans. Coffee culture evolved giving rise to rituals like the Turkish coffee ceremony, the Italian espresso tradition, and the French cafe culture, each with its own unique charm and customs. Italy is particularly famous for its espresso, a concentrated coffee brewed by forcing hot water through finely ground coffee beans. Moreover, Italy has a strong coffee roasting tradition with well-known roasters and bold flavor profiles. The first espresso machine was invented in Italy in the late 19th century. Angelo Moriando patented a steam-driven coffee beverage-making device in 1884. Luigi Bezzera improved the espresso machine and patented it in 1901 for a more efficient and practical process. Espresso quickly gained popularity in Italy and eventually spread to other parts of the world, becoming a cornerstone of coffee culture and a beloved beverage enjoyed by millions globally. In fact, in the modern era, 
Coffee has become more than just a beverage. It's a multi-billion dollar industry that influences economies, shapes landscapes, and connects people from all walks of life. From humble beginnings in the highlands of Ethiopia to the bustling cafes of today, the history of coffee is a testament to the power of discovery, innovation, and cultural exchange. So the next time you savor that cup of java, remember the centuries of history and tradition that went into every sip. Thanks for joining us on this caffeinated journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights. Until next time, stay caffeinated.